Hi and thanks for watching. In this video I'm going to uh, modify a standard door to fit an attic bedroom with a slope and roof. Um, I skip over installing the hinges, the mortise lock, basically the hardware, uh, but I do cover it in some videos that I've got coming up in the next couple of months. So depending on watching, when you're watching the video, if you're interested particularly in the hinges or the mortise locks or some fire instrument and strips, anything like that, search my other videos and I'll cover it in a bit more detail, but please enjoy this one. Thanks for watching. What I'm going to be doing today is putting a door into this attic room that we've made. So as you can see, it's a bit of a funny shape, sort of a conventional door up to here, but then it's got this angle out the side of it. Um, so I've just spent a couple of hours this morning just squaring the door frame up. So I know it's the same width at the top as what it is at the bottom. Um, so I think uh, that'll make it nice and easy to get it fitted hopefully with it being nice and square so what I've done is I'll show you in a minute I've got a conventional door I'm going to cut it down to fit this basic shape to begin with so I'm going to cut it the, the, this width and uh, I'm going to leave, allow a couple of millimetres clearance at either side um, so it'll be four millimetre overall shorter and then top to bottom uh, I'm going to leave a, a couple of mil clearance at the top um, and sort of eight, eight to ten mil at the bottom, which will that's above the finished above the floor level, which will allow for the the carpet and stuff like that. Um, and then uh, it should be a nice tight fit. Um, so I'll show you the door. So as you can see, that's the door I've got. It's just a conventional door. Um, like I say, I'm going to cut it down on the side. I'm going to cut it down on top to bottom. And then once I've done that, what we'll have to do there is then cut it at a bit of an angle, like obviously it's a bit exaggerated, but cut it at a bit of an angle like that. We'll then have to put some wood in, the same as this, to sort of make it look nice and tidy. So I'll get my measurements transferred across the door and then I'll, I'll show you where we are. I've got the uh, door marked out now. So you can see I've got a mark along the bottom, one up the side. Another one up the other side, and we'll come across the top. And I've got this mark here, so they're corresponding to sort of the door and the frame across at the top there. So, what I've done, I've put a straight edge on, I've clamped it down so it can't move anywhere, it's just stood on a trestle there. Got my circular saw there, and I'm going to run the circular saw along, I think, and see what type of a cut I get with that. Hopefully, that'll be a nice straight cut um, that's just going to get the rough shape so once I've done all them cuts it should hopefully fit into the doorway um, and then once I've, I've got that sorted we'll look at how I'm going to do that top edge bit as sort of the final stage so what you can see I've done now is I've um, got my piece of wood cut the angle across I've managed to slide this apart so I could slide this in fill out I took the infill out cut it at an angle and then routed the inside of that that is going to go in there I would glue it up obviously that will push up to that and it should all fix together nicely so I'm going to go and get the wood glue um, and I'll, I'll show you how I put it all together probably put a screw across and a screw across just to hold it all together um, but as you can see I think it's going to be nice that there is the same width as that bit coming round there we need a little bit of filler in, um, a little bit of trim, um, and it should look nice, hopefully. So as you can see now, it's looking somewhere near. Um, I've glued the joints. I've also put a screw through each one. I was going to dowel them, but um, by the time I glued them, screwed them, I thought that would be the easiest way. Like I say, it's nicely... Um, um, routed under there so there's a nice gap and then that's full of wood glue as well so my next sort of um, stage is to mark out for the hinges and uh, hopefully get it hinged see so there's honey so to mark the hinges on the door what I've done is I've put a couple of little chocks under the door and they're about 8 mil, and then for the top hinge it's coming down from the coming down from the top, top of there. Uh, that's approximately six inches. 
and from the bottom up is approximately nine inches um, which is recommended on sort of several websites I've looked on that looks about right and it also matches up with about the remainder of the doors in the house so what I'll do now is I'll, t I'll take the door off lay it on its side and I'll sort of notch, notch out the hinge hinges in the door I'll then put it back against that against the frame notch them into the frame I think um, and then we'll then we'll look at screwing it on and whatever we'll after that in this section of the video I'm uh, installing the hinges and the mortise lock uh, like I said at the beginning I've just sped this up just you can see what's happening um, but I didn't feel I talked about it in enough detail really so I'm going to do I've got several more doors to hang in the house and I'm going to be um, installing hinges mortise locks uh, fire intermission strips so them videos depend on when you're watching this it'll be coming up in the coming month and you can, you can see how I do it but basically I've marked the hinges on I'm chiseling them out to make a recess I mount the hinges do the same thing on the frame um, drilling the mortise lock put it on and hang the door so you can get a rough idea but please if you're interested watch the other videos and uh, please enjoy the rest of this video thanks for watching what I've done at the door frame side is put the hinges on the doors now. Got my little chocks of wood. Put the door on my chocks of wood. Just so the hinge is at the centre of the frame. I'll give you a close up of that in a second. And then once I've, I've squared it all up, I've literally drawn around it with a pencil. A close up there. The hinge is just on the frame and I've drawn around it. And I now move the door out the way and cut it out with the chisel and the same at the bottom then we'll screw it on and then hopefully just do any minor adjustments after that I've got the door on the hinges the top and bottom and it, it sort of freely opens and closes so my next stage I'm going to do today is the lock um, so again the usual suspects from screw fix just got the Victorian Sort of um, brass round knobs. Um, it's a lock. A bit of uh, centre pin and everything. So to begin with, I'm going to mark it on. I'm going to centre the lock. It's obviously going to go inside the middle of the door, but centre it sort of there. So what I'll do is I'll get a, a wood arm a bit, drill into the depth of that. Try and get it to push in. Once I get it pushed in, I'll show you as I'm doing it. I'll draw that shape on there to get it flushed. Once we've done that, we'll mark that hole, drill through for that, and then just the, the knobs on. And then once that's done, we'll do the frame side. So hopefully, uh, it won't be too much of a job. Um, so what I'm doing now is the final stage of the door frame. I'm putting the edging trim on. So what I've bought is, um, because this is a homemade door frame, I've bought this stuff from B&Q. Um, so it's got the dimensions on there. So it's 11 mil thick, 92 mil wide and 2.4 meters long. Um, unfortunately, I only need 85 mil wide. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut it down on the table saw. And I've just cut an angle there just as a bit of a template. And then the theory is, Go on like that, and see it's got the, the nice angle um, top to bottom and then when you close the door it'll come up to it um, and then that'll be sort of this stage of the, the door done. So you can see I've now got the uh, edge and trim on around the door. Um, a little bit of filler going but um, it's there or thereabouts. Looking at the door there, it's a nice fit. There's a edging to go around the door at either side, but that'll get late, done at a later date when we do do all the edging in the house. Um, but at least that door's nicely sealed now. So the final stages will be a, a good bit of trim to go on either side. 
So this is where I'm going to actually leave the door video. I was going to, originally I was going to put some timber to the round the sides of it. What I've decided to do now is put a moulded trim on at the side. Now there's various other places we're going to put moulded trim on up here. So there's the sort of hatches, um, the inspection hatches for the eaves. Um, and there's, there's a bit on the other side of the door. So what I'll do is I'll do that at a, a later stage. So there'll be a moulded trim goes around the edge. Um, and then at the side of the moulded trim, there'll just be a little bit of pla like a plasterboard strip up either side. So it'll be like plasterboarded with a moulded trim around the door. So I'll probably, I'll, what I'll do is I'll do another video about the installation of the trim. Um, but uh, overall, quite pleased with how the, how the door's gone. Um, I see you can see there, top right hand corner of the door, obviously needs a bit of wood filler um, and a bit, a bit of the uh, trim tidying up where I've, where I've cut it at the angle. Um, but like little bits like that will all get done at the end. So probably like I say, if you keep watching other videos, you'll see that. But we've done the, the basic installation, the door's on. Um, I'll show you the back of it so you can see the strips on the back. Looking at, looking at it from the stairs back over. So again, I haven't 100% decided uh, what I'm going to do trim wise I'm, I'm, because it's only a little narrow gap and because it's literally the door into the attic um, I may or may not put some sort of trim on on, on that we'll, we'll have a think about it um, because it's not a very wide gap so I, d I don't know that it looked better le left, as it, left as it is once it's all nicely sort of sanded and filled and painted that might just look better than actually having the trim but I'll have a think about that. Um, like I say, this this frame, it's it's obviously it's a homemade frame, um, because um, because it's an oddball size. So if you're putting a sort of a manufactured frame in, so it's a lot quicker and a lot easier. And obviously any other door I would. It's just literally because of that funny angle on it and stuff. It's just made it a bit difficult. But um, I say it's not been too bad in the end. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to our channel on YouTube and if you ever uh, go across to Instagram and search renovating underscore vein underscore cottage or probably if you Google it, um, we've got a channel on there, we do tend to put a bit more frequent updates on there so these videos maybe go on once a month um, because obviously take a lot longer to, to record stuff and I, I like to try and put it on as, as near as complete as I can rather than put it on in drips and drops but the uh, Instagram I'll put little videos on and little pictures on as I'm going along so a project like this takes me a couple of weeks so I'll put it on each night as I'm doing a bit after work or whatever um, so there we are that noise in the background's just a leash you're uh, burning off so like I said thanks again uh, and hopefully see you in the next video